All right, everybody. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how I take this haircut here and, uh, you know, turn it into to this. At home for like 25 bucks. One time investment. Cut your hair for a long time. All right, things you're gonna need. You are going to need one of these for trim work, clean up stuff, edges. This, um, I've had this for years now. Uh, Walmart special, it was like 20 bucks, maybe $30, I don't know. Uh, again, buy it once and then you know just invest because you're gonna save so much money over time. So this is the one I use. Uh, make sure that you keep it clean, make sure that you keep it oiled and it'll keep working for you. Sometimes you have to go in and adjust the spring here because this thing gets loose and then vibrates and it's super annoying. But yeah, um, today what I'm going to be using uh, because this is pretty much how I keep my hair most of the time, long on top and then short on the sides. Uh, I pretty much only use two sides of the clippers um, even in my drawer, I only have two sides, two sizes, excuse me. So I'm going to be using a number two and a number one. So this is just for me though. It's so I can keep it a little bit on top and then just trim up the sides. And yes, the back as well. Um, so a couple things you need to keep in mind uh, are... Mm, I can look there, can't I? Okay, so head shape, basically. Basic human anatomy. I understand what the scale is shaped like. If you're not sure, feel it out, okay? You feel the ridge, the bump right here along the, the back of the skull. That's something that you should keep in mind. And that bump runs all the way around the side here to create the line of where we're gonna create the fade, okay? Um, now, again, we wanna fade, so that means that the bottom here is gonna be shorter than the top here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm gonna start with a level two. I'm gonna take the two and I'm gonna run it around the top here uh, just to get it a little bit shorter and then I'm gonna work on fading it with the one up, okay? Uh, a couple things I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna take off part of the beard. Uh, I'm gonna trim the sides of the beard. So I'm gonna fluff it up a little bit and then I just go in with no guard, no one, no two, just a straight thing and then I just clean that up I might pull a number two down here to blend it up into the, into the top. And then the final step is going to be putting a line. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Um, yeah, so I'll see when we get to uh, the, the number one. Now, what I'm doing, like for the back, because the top of my hair, the front's a little bit longer, because if I do style it, that's the only part I really style. So it kind of like fades from the top to the front a little bit. So what I do is I actually rest the tips on the top of my head, and then I'll slowly begin to move it back as I lower it down to cut the hair. But again, if you just want to just use the two, and that's totally fine. I'm not going to touch the front. I'm going to leave that alone because I'm going to grow that one out again. Um, but that's it. So. Other things you need to keep in mind uh, is that not all your hair grows in the same direction. If any of you are uh, Catholic people, then you'll know that it grows in all kinds of directions. And the only way that I can actually test the back without having somebody come in and look at it is just by feeling it and feeling that it's all the same length. Right now it feels pretty good. Um, so that's it. I'm going to give you a look at see what we're looking at. Okay. So right now you can hopefully see. Yeah, you can see how I, I trimmed it up like this. Right? Like that. So that's the two. It's done. Now I just got to fade up from the one. Now, the way that I'm going to do this is... I'm gonna take this off so I can show you. Okay, put my one guard on there. So I've got the one, okay. What I'm gonna be doing is, 
I'm going to be holding this side, the flat, against my head. And what you do is, there's two angles, one here and one here. I'm going to start on this angle, and as I'm going up the head, I'm going to rotate to this side, so like this. And this is how I'm going to be fading up. So I'm starting low and close, and then fading up. Okay. And the back, it's not so much, except I know where the ridge is. So as soon as it gets to that ridge, I know to straighten up and come off the top instead of following the skull. Here we go. I'm starting right, right below the ear line here, and then I'm just going up and then pulling off, up. And out, up, and out. And when you get the hang of it, it moves pretty quickly. I'm, re I'm just using the, the trimmer right now to follow the, the outside of my ear. We'll go back and clean that up later. And then back to the fade, back to the fade. So it's going flat here, and then flattening out as I move up. Flat to up. It takes practice. Uh, again, I've been doing this since 1998, pretty much since I went to college. That's how old I am. Um, and it took a lot of practice. It actually took a few times messing up, but thankfully, as a, as a man, especially as a young college man, just buzz it off if it didn't work, start over again. Ladies, fuck. Same goes for you, you know what I mean? Do it. Now, a point to remember, I said that the hair doesn't all go in the same direction. For me especially, this hair is driving me nuts, uh, down here on the bottoms. When I get down here, I have to hit it from this side, from this side, from that side, to make sure that I've got all of the hair. So you'll see, as I'm trimming this back in the bottom part here, that I'm actually going to be changing directions to make sure that I've gotten all of the hair. That's good. And listen, okay? Because when you don't hear anymore clipping off, you're good. Okay? Take a quick break. Let's see what it looks like. Not too bad. Fades up. It's a little bit longer up here than it is down here. Fades down. And you see the difference, right? Boom, that's it. No, other side. But Chris, what if I can only use one hand? Figure it out. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. So I'm left-handed. So I can come across here, or um, again, since I've been doing this for so long, I just switch hands. Switch back to the two. Let's attack the beard a little bit. And it's going to be similar with the two. I start, so I fluff up the beard with the tips of the, the guard. So it's a little bit fluffier. I'm not sure you can see that. And then I start tall and I roll it into the top. Roll it into the top. And it gives it this, it gives it that fade that pulls down. So I'm going to go this side, fluff it up a little bit, and roll. Oops. Roll.
we get the nice fade that comes down, pulls down into the illusion of a chin because behind this beard, it's not a chin. It's not a fist either. It's actually just a smaller chin. But yeah, so you can see it pulls down and gives me that face, the, the shape, the jawline shape. And then also makes me look a little bit thinner. Hello, hello. Okay, so that's where we're at so far. Now, uh, cleaning. It's gonna be a little bit harder. Let's try and move in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little bit how I work the ears. Um, I have messed this one up before. So again, this is the one to be careful. I'm using the trimming one. I guess I could probably just look. Hey, you guys like my setup? You can see it. It's a rubber band to the tripod. Okay, whatever. Yeah, professional. Okay, um, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be taking this and it's gonna go like this. It's flat and it's gonna come up and then I'm gonna stop here. Come up and around the shape of the ear and then stop. Oh no. There we go. Uh, stop. Uh, stop. Brush it down a little bit with your hands. And again. Now, the back side, I can see the, the line of my hair. So I'm gonna do my best. And this is the this is the one you kinda of wanna practice your aim with before you go ahead and do this. This is gonna go, and I'm gonna align this with the line that of, of the hair that I want. So I want to kinda follow this line of hair. I'm gonna keep, do my best to keep the flat edge here. So I'm continually cutting down into the hair. Same for the other side, around the ear, brush. Okay, and okay. okay. Now with the trimmer, I'm also gonna go ahead and uh, line the face up a little bit. Uh, I'm not very good at these super sharp lines. So basically I see where it is and I see it there. So it points out a little bit. I'm just gonna try and measure this and then burp, trim that down so it's more of a straight line. Same for this side and then just clean up the edges around the hair already. So I match this side here with my eyebrow line. Eyebrow swoops down, boom, hair swoops down. Be careful not to drag that across your eyebrow. And then this goes up, so... Straight line down. On the side. Straight line. Next the eyebrow. And then let's just do this, yeah. Clean up the line of the beard. And if you notice I'm starting at the edge and pushing up using the back side. I find it a little bit more accurate that way rather than trying to figure out where to go there. Uh, and then any stragglers I'll catch with a, with a razor afterwards if I have to. Okay. Now my, my beard's getting a little bit long. So what I'm going to do is... Yeah, I'm gonna lose a little bit of it. So for this, Vacuum that later. 
absolutely vacuum that later. This I'm just going straight, no guard, nothing. And I'm going to start by trying to create as much of a line coming down along the jawline, just, well, parallel to the jawline. And I'm going to start slow and I'm going to ease it up until I'm comfortable with the line that I have. Yeah, that works okay. I do, I do think I want to get rid of some of the beard though. Mm, no. Just clean the neck. Bring it up a little bit closer to the jaw. Now the trick. Matching. Again, always start slow. Start with minimal removing before you just go straight in. And this one comes up a little bit higher here. So, let's see. Okay. You can't see that, so let's move you over here. That's better. Okay, now, before I turn on the, the small one, okay, before I turn this one on, I wanna practice where I want my line to go. So now I've got my hairline, which is where I haven't cut it. And to establish this line, first of all, I used a number two originally, before this was all longer. I used a two and I pulled this up and then I just basically created a line like this with the clipper that separated the long and then the two, the short. So now I want to follow that line with this and it's, it's for me, again, I'm not a professional so I don't know what I'm doing, but it's always little, dum, 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 dum. so it's down, 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 down and it's just you know, take it easy, okay? I'm going to open it up a little bit more at the end. And that's it. final product this is what we're looking at trim the beard up on the sides here faded it up to here let's get some there we go got a line down the side the edge of my hairline top stayed the same overall pretty happy with it let's check the back 
Oh, oh, okay. I'd say it's good enough for government work, but it's better than government work because I was in the military and they cut our hair and it wasn't this nice. So, uh, yeah. Love you guys. Later.